Hey guys, TTL back with another video for you. Uh, we may be giving away a GTX 780 Strix system on the main OC3D website at the moment, but we have just got in our hands the latest Strix graphics card, which is the GTX 7, excuse me, 750 Ti. Um, it's got two gigabyte of VRAM. Uh, the fan will actually spin down and stop spinning altogether, which is why it's zero dB. And it's not until you really load up the 3D applications that the fan will even spin up. But they are really, really quiet anyway. We've got an all alloy superpower, 2.5 times longer lifespan. It's ready for G Sync as well. Uh, although the G Sync monitors are still obscenely priced, so you wouldn't necessarily want it on here. You can see it's the it's actually it is a Strix PC, but it's still got the Direct CU technology, which basically means the heat pipes actually touch the main core. You can see 15% um, performance boost, 35C cooler operations, two time 0.5 times longer lifespan with the super alloy power. It all hips up with the GPU tweak and uh, if you do buy this I would advise you to use the Asus GPU tweak as well because it does work very well. I'm going to bust it out of its box and we can have a quick look at the old girl. It is all very brand new. We've got a driver disc and a manual inside and by very brand new I mean I've not even had a look at it yet. So we'll be looking at this together for the first time. Oh. Undress the little girl. Oh, it is so cute. It's so itty bitty. You can see the uh, the kind of Strix design. This is actually the bit of the design that I picked out and we put all over the case on the competition one. I actually prefer it in the red there, actually. I think that does look quite nice. Now, on the uh, last uh, Asus 750 tie, the power connector was here. But these things pull so little power, you don't really need the power connector at all. So I'm glad they've sacked it off because it helps keep it all tidy. Also, with the last 750 tie, it was just an alley block with some fans on the top. So the fact that we've got the direct CU heat pipes here, so it's actually got heat pipes where the last one didn't, it should cool a lot better. Nice Strix logo there. Oh yeah, look, we catch it in the light. She looks good. Um, so we've got the red detailing, a little bit of Asus down here. When we get round the back, we have HDMI display port, and I'm just going to pull this off. You've got the DVI there. You've got the it's the dual one as well. No back plate, but it is a cheap card. Uh, by cheap, I mean well priced. Uh, you can see you've got a bit of heat sink that hangs out this side. It, it's it's simplistic. But it's still got a bit of design to it, considering what the price is going to be as well. I actually quite like that. That looked nice, stood up in the side of an ITX rig. I know the studio lights, uh, or rather the office lights, are making it look good at the moment. But I think it does look the part. And like I said, these fans will go down to zero dBA. So they will not spin at all when you're on your desktop or something like that. So it can make your rig even, even quieter. Um, one thing I will say though is that the 750 tyres I've been finding they overclock quite well so if you fancy a bit, of a bit of a play then you can do. But that's been our first look at the uh, Asus Strix GTX 750 tie and uh, yeah this is the end of the video. Out.